All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, new on AM Extra now, if you missed out on the Taylor Swift Eras Tour stop up in Seattle over the weekend, we got the next best thing. Yes, yeah, several members of the Coin and Portland CW team are big Swifties and attended at least one of two sold out shows. Portland CW's Nicole DaCosta was one of them. Nicole joins us this morning with a recap of her Eras Tour experience. Good morning. I mean, I'm still coming down from the experience. <laughs> I know I'm you're still, still glowing. I'm still glowing. I'm wearing the cool little or bracelet. Or maybe shimmering. <laughs> I shimmering. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Nice and bejeweled. <laughs> no, I'm so excited. Seattle, I mean, Taylor Swift took over all the fans. We had so much fun. Fun. I'm so excited for you all to check it out. Are you ready for it? We were, and so was everyone in Seattle, Washington over the weekend. Taylor Swift's Eras Stadium Tour took over Lumen Field with record-breaking sold-out shows Saturday and Sunday. And the whole concert experience was no spectator sport. It was spectacular from start to finish, and everyone in that stadium played a role. And that includes the meticulous outfits the fans put together to wear to their show. Yes, the Swifties, including me, were out in full force in Seattle roaming the streets in cowboy boots, sequins and glitter, copycat outfits from her music videos, and passing out friendship bracelets to other fans long before Swift stepped on stage. Cars were decorated, several buildings on the Seattle skyline were lit up purple in her honor. The merch booth line looked endless. And then, oh yeah, the biggest concert tour of the summer started in the Northwest. You know, the one that broke Ticketmaster the day tickets went on sale. And I can't remember the last time I've heard a collective roar that loud, probably at her last tour. Apparently, Saturday's sold out show was just the run through because Sunday's crowd was extra loud. Swift hasn't toured in five years and there was a lot of pent up energy to sing along to every word for three and a half hours. Yes, both nights carried a set list with more than 40 songs. The concert was longer than the Mariners and Blue Jays baseball game next door. And the costumes, the set design, and the way it also felt like a Broadway production with its shuffling sets and visuals through her genres of music, home runs. There wasn't a moment's lag in entertainment value. Smoke, snakes, fire, diving into the stage, neon bikes, light up synchronized bracelets, a stadium screen literally the size of a football field, a killer band, great dancers, and scenes so realistic that a few times I actually thought I was in the forest or on a cloud with these people. Appropriately titled her Eras Tour, Swift had plenty of eras to choose from when crafting this production that pulled materials from her 10 albums and 17 year career in the music industry. She was extra smiley and an hour into the set turned to the audience and said, thank you for making it this much fun. And everyone around me screamed, no, thank you. Seeing any household name, musician, author, actor, artist, athlete, who is at the top of their game, standing just a few feet away, absolutely owning their craft is inspiring. I've always respected Swift's work ethic, songwriting, and fearless approach to life. Oh, and her endurance. How she pulled off this circus for hours without being winded or missing a step was half of the amazement. Up next, the biggest pop star in the world is taking over California, where she'll play Sophie Stadium for six nights in a week. I kept thinking, how could she ever top this? Haven't we all been saying that her entire career? She'll show us how. Wow. And have you recovered? I ha I'll never recover, you guys. <laughs> I love going to concerts, and I truly don't know what's going to top this. Well, yeah. you've, So you've covered Taylor Swift a few times throughout her Correct. career on some different tours before, and you said this just blows it all out of the water. Yeah, the 1989 tour, fantastic. She's on this crane, swinging around. She really oh spoke gosh. to every seat. I mean, yeah. 300 level, we're like, there she is. And then the Reputation tour, multiple stages, snakes flying out. I'm like, she topped herself again. Yeah. This was on stage. Steroids. This oh was gosh. unbelievable. So proud of her. Girl power. Uh, look what she's doing in the music industry. And you saw her back right? in the day. I saw her way back when I was in high school when she was like just coming onto the national stage in her like, you know, curly hair, sparkly guitar era. Oh, and I was I was up 
real close to the House of Blues watching her oh. like as a teen, you know, yeah. and so just neat. to see where she's come, it's just incredible. It's so cool it's to watch cool. these careers. She, she's literally like the Michael Jackson of our day we were just talking about. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but who is moving this many tickets? In terms of mm -hmm. talent and performance level and just the response that's, that around the world. That's yes. the big thing is, I mean, is that. Like at the end of the day, it's fan engagement, yeah. right? Correct. I mean, and I, I feel like the only other artist at the moment you could probably put in that category, yes. I would say, well, I would say two. I would say Beyonce Kay. always kind of like moves yep. the needle, right? Mm -hmm. You have the beehive. I yep. still don't think maybe to the, oh, don't get, come at me beehive, but I think, <laughs> I mean, Swifties right now are on another level with this tour. Oh so, yeah, um, I feel Taylor, like for a Taylor while there, Harry the Styles was there too, yeah. but yes. I mean, I still think Taylor Swift is kind of number well, one. Well, and Taylor's yes. been throwing out these secret songs at yes. every show. Like every set has been a little different. Yes. So did fans know, could they tell when it was like a new song? So I looked up the set list before, so uh -huh. I'm kind of like peeking down every three songs. So I'm like, oh, I know what's coming up, or you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bejeweled is next, or you know. So I was, I was very excited, kind of following along, and then she'd throw in a little something, or she'd okay. start talking, or you know. And I was yeah. like, all right, girl, like it, it probably keeps it fun for her. But yeah. really, how can you really tweak that show too much? There's too many lights and screens, and you can't right. go. We'll just skip that part. I mean, right. people are in costumes, so you know, I mean, it was incredible. It's also she's a three and a half hour set. Mm -hmm. it's, Every it's, time, it, yeah. it's insane. It's incredible. That's I hope she gets a nap cool. this week. Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Fun to talk about it with you, Nicole. Aww, thanks, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for. Mm -hmm. All right, 814 right now, and up next on AM Extra, a missed opportunity. We're going to go over the list of actors in the running to play Ken in the Barbie movie. Uh, of course, we know Ryan Gosling got the nod there. He was Ken up. Yes, he was. <laughs> Plus, a star studded.